video, I'm going to show you an exam question using a box and whisker plot. Okay, sometimes they're called box plots, but in this question, it's called a box and whisker plot. So the question says, a van delivers parcels from a warehouse. The box and whisker plot shows information about the masses of the parcels in the van. So here's my quick sketch of the box and whisker plot. So it's just a way of showing the data that's been collected. There are five important points to remember on a box and whisker plot. Starting on the left hand side here, the first little line of the plot is the lowest value. So this line here represents the parcel with the lowest mass. Then the beginning of the rectangle is what we call the low quartile. The line within the rectangle represents the median. The line that ends the rectangle is the upper quartile. And this line at the end is the highest value. So it would be the parcel with the highest mass, okay? So I don't have squares on my board, so what I've done is I've just marked the important points on this diagram. So if you look at the lowest value, I've marked that it's 0 0.6 kilograms. Now, if you're not sure how to read off that it's 0 0.6, because I know there are little squares all the way along, a good thing is to work out what each little square is worth along this line here. So because from zero to one, there are five little squares, you need to divide one unit by five little squares, which gives you 0 0.2, okay? So one divided by five is 0 0.2. So each little square is worth 0 0.2 along this line, okay? So if this line is three little squares along, I know it's 0 0.6 because 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 is three little squares. The lower quartile is in line with three kilograms. The median is in line with 4.6 kilograms. The upper quartile is in line with 6.2 kilograms. And finally, the highest value, highest mass is 8.2 kilograms. So they're the five important points on this box and whisker plot. So, the first part of the exam question asks us to work out the median. So we've already talked about this part. The median is the line within the rectangle and it's in line with 4.6. So the median is 4.6 kilograms for the mass of parcels. Next we have to find the interquartile range. So interquartile range is found by writing down the upper quartile and subtracting the lower quartile. So I already pointed out what the upper and lower quartiles were. The upper quartile is here, 6.2 kilograms. And the lower quartile is over on the left, so three kilograms. And if I subtract those two values, I get 3.2. So the interquartile range is 3.2 kilograms. exam question it says that two parcels are removed one of the parcels has a mass of 2.4 kilograms and the other one has a mass of 5.8 it says describe the effect that removing these parcels has on the median mass of the remaining parcels give a reason for your answer so let's take a look to see where these two masses lie on the diagram so 2.4 kilograms is approximately here so hopefully you can see that this mass is smaller than the median, okay? 5.8 kilograms is approximately here, and this time the mass is greater than the median. So that means the median will actually stay the same. So you would write that the median stays the same. The reason would just be that because we're taking one parcel that's smaller than the median and one parcel that's greater than the median, and that's all you would write for this exam question. If you were to take two parcels that were smaller than the median, the median would increase. If you were to take two parcels that were greater, greater than the median, the median would decrease. And I'll just show you quickly with just some random numbers to show you why. Okay, so imagine this is our list of masses. And remember the median is the middle number. So in this list of numbers, the median is six. If I take two parcels that are smaller than the median, for example, two and three, 
it would leave me with this set of numbers here. If I work out the new median, so the middle number again, it's here. And you should be able to see the median has increased. So by taking two parcels that are smaller than the median, the median increases. And so if you take two parcels that are greater than the median, the median would decrease. 